Uh, Lionel, how would you describe the, the change of feel here as you enter today's game, being back home and, and you guys having the advantage of home court? Well, some people wouldn't agree with that since uh, we have a losing record at home. And Atlanta has a winning record on the road. So, uh... It's always nice to be home, especially in the playoffs, and uh, you know, get back to your normal routine, being at home, coming to practice versus being in a hotel. Uh, I thought we played extremely well down there. Uh, I thought the second game was anybody's game, and uh, we had as much of a chance to win it as they did. Uh, and, uh, you know, being home doesn't guarantee, guarantee anything. We're going to have to go out and play uh, with the same level of intensity and, and uh, aggressiveness and execution-wise, you know, because they, they've beaten us here pretty bad. So, you know, just because the venue has changed doesn't mean that the mentality can change. We still have to go out and, uh, uh, and play a really good game. We've, you mentioned giving yourself a chance to win. In the last two games, what stood out to you most about what your team was able to do in the fourth quarter against the well, Sox team? I just think that, you know, we have to figure out a way to score early and not get down. Our defense has been good, you know, but you seem like early on we turn the ball over and, and we don't score, and they get out and run off of our turnovers, and we're down 12 points. And then we get control of ourselves, and we get our poise back, and we come back, and we play, we execute, we score, and uh, we get back in the game because our defense has still been good. I think defensively it would be the thing that stands out to me because we have stood tall in that area. We've contested a lot of shots, and, uh, you know, we've closed <clears throat> off the, the basket for the most part, you know, and uh, that's why we've been able to be in these games. Coach, when, when Billy put this team together back in 2012, you know, Darren, Joe, and Brooke were essentially the three stars, the three cornerstones that uh, he obviously had in mind. Uh, it seems throughout this time, and, and now, you know, even through this year, it's been difficult getting the three of them playing extremely well at the same time. I'm wondering if you have a sense of why that is, you know, what you've seen over this past year. Is it just a question of injuries and those not lining up, or is there anything else that makes it more difficult? Well, if you go back and look down the stretch when we made the run to get to the playoff, all three of them played well. And, you know, uh, you know there's a lot of people have been added. A lot of people have left. New coaches come in, uh, different philosophy, different style that they have had to adjust to and injury. So it's a lot of things. You just can't pinpoint one thing. And, um, you know, inconsistency of play uh, has been troubling. Uh, but we got to a level of consistency uh, for a while, and that's why we got, got into the playoffs.